Hey everyone, Itay Manero here, and in this video, I'm going to reveal what my art challenge and Procreate freebies for the month of April are going to be about. So let's jump right into it. But first I want to say thank you to everyone who participated on last month's challenge. I had a blast seeing all your awesome submissions and the incredible and healthy sense of community you guys keep promoting by liking, sharing and commenting on other artists' submissions. You can search by the hashtag Manero Challenge on Instagram and Twitter, but mostly on Instagram, to check all the incredible artworks and give their creators some love. If you don't know what my challenge of the month is, basically I provide you with a free and exclusive Procreate brush every month, a color palette, and an art prompt. The challenge is to draw or paint something based on the prompt, using only the brush and the color palette provided. To join the fun, you can post your art on social media using the hashtags Manero Brushes and Manero Challenge and feel free to include this image in your post. I would be sharing your awesome creations with my audience. You can find the link to download these freebies in the description below. The prompt for April is just a fool. This prompt is obviously inspired by April's fool. I thought it would be fun to just draw a stupid looking character being super dumb. Using a very small size of the brush, I'm using the included dark brown color from this month's palette to do a quick sketch of my character. My idea was to draw some kind of fish walking around in clown's clothes. I'm paying attention to the pose and gesture because I really want this fish to look super silly. Once I have a basic sketch of what I want, I lower the opacity of this layer and create a new one on top, where I will be inking the character with cleaner and more defined lines. I don't exactly follow the same lines I did in my previous sketch, I only use them as a guide, but I also allow myself to diverge from them. This technique allows me to be more spontaneous with my line work, and I find that my end result feels more organic. With the inking done, I can start focusing on throwing some color at this little illustration. Before I jump to paint the character itself, I like to add a hint of color behind it, in this case in the shape of a circle, then I play around with the complementary and contrasting blues and oranges to give life to this stupid looking fish. This brush actually shines best in this coloring stage. It feels a little bit like a watercolor brush, but it has its own personality. I think you are going to have a lot of fun with it, and I really hope you dig it.
And this is the final result. I really hope you liked this video and that you decide to join the fun. I can't wait to see what you guys will create this month. Of course, if you have any questions after watching this video, feel free to ask in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for more art related videos and give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure to check out my Gumroad page where you will find the challenge of the month freebies and many other brush sets for Procreate that I have available. I'm sure something will suit your artistic needs. All the links are in the description below. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.